Whoa, that's an interview question. That's a whole topic in a course. <laughs> what is user story mapping and how would you go about it? Well, user story mapping is exactly what it says on the tin. It's creating a map of the user stories. You're trying to understand the flow that a user takes with your product, with your service. How does it work for them? You know, Or if you abstract it up a level, what are they trying to do? So very often the way that I will approach it is I will ask the team, the stakeholders, whoever needs to be in that conversation, what are the things this particular user does? What are the activities they take? You know, and list them all out. There's many. We may filter it down to in this part of the product, what does the user do? But absolutely don't talk about the user. There is no the user. There are very nuanced ones. Whatever segmentation pattern that you you know approach you want to take, great. Put it to play. Don't talk about the user. Talk about the middle-aged white guy. If that is a user type that you have, you can call him John. What does John do in this situation? He does this. He does this. He does this. He does this. You know, and you will come out with many many things. Great. Why does he do those things? What's the goal that he's trying to achieve? Start patching them together to seek those goals. What are the things he's trying to get done? I love the jobs to be done idea. I'll probably do a video at some point on that. I'm not gonna dig into it any deeper now, but this idea of what are they trying to get done? They're doing things, but what's the purpose behind it? Patch things together to that. It might be they're searching for a product. Great, they do all these things when they're searching. Okay, now what are all the tasks or what are all the ways we could solve that problem? Okay, and what you're doing is you're creating a very simple representation. You've got a goal, underneath that you've got a set of activities and underneath those, you've got all the tasks that you could do to achieve that. So if it's searching, I could search by color, title. You know, uh, let's pick cars, make, model, color, engine, engine size, number of doors, body type fuel, all sorts of things that you could do. Transmission for our American friends. Um, that's great. All of these things become different tasks underneath it. Very often they map to user stories. And what we've done is we've created a visual representation of what they're doing, why they're doing it, and how we could solve that problem for them within our product, within our service. Mm -hmm. And that gives the team as a whole, but particularly the product owner, great way of just stepping back and thinking what's important now what's important in the future okay. so very often we'll talk about what's the minimum that is useful to the customer you may hear it as an MVP and things like that again I'm not diving into that right now um, what are the minimum number of features well, not the number what are the minimum features that will actually give us a usable thing when I worked in banking we had a great one Okay, validating where people lived. Okay, they opened a new bank account. How did we check they were who they said they were? And we had this long list of options. We had do what we do now, which was essentially send them a letter, um, ask them to upload a picture of their driving license or their passport, you know, all the way through to get them to turn their camera on. And some of you may have come across this technology if you've, if you've done it usually, you know, and say a phrase so that you record them actually doing it. It's a random set of numbers or a random set of words. So they can't make it up. They can't have pre-recorded it. They have to be there in front of the camera and do it there and then. They are precisely who they say they are. Match that up with some biometric data. Yes, John is John. Great. We had all of these options. And when it came to it and we said, what do we need to do? What do we actually need to do to get this new current account approach out of the door? We had lots and lots of things we could do and because of time because of money because of actually quite a few uh, very real priorities that had to be made um just stick with what we've got it's good enough it fits the law we know it works we can just fit into that system quite happily that's good enough everything else stayed on the map okay but it was just moved down below a line and we said everything above this line is what we need to deliver to have a viable product to have a happy customer it's not perfect, but it's good enough. Okay. And then as we move down and we have more time, 
and we have more budget, if we have more time and we have more budget, then we've got options already sat there and we can come back to them and assess, do we want to do this or do we want to go further? What do we want to do next? So user story mapping for me is a wonderful way of visualizing you know, what the user's doing, why they're doing it and how we can help them achieve those goals. If you've got to this point in the video, I hope you've enjoyed it. If so, a like would be appreciated. If you want to hear more from me, more answers to questions that maybe you've got in the Agile world, please subscribe to the channel. And if you've got a question that you really want answered, drop it in the comments. I promise we'll get around to it. Thank you.